It feels like everywhere you turn these days, someone's talking about generative AI. But what's all the hype about? What does it actually mean and how does it impact you? Well, we're here to break it all down. Today, we're taking a deep dive into one in-depth podcast episode to pull out the most valuable insights about this game-changing tech. And you're right to be curious. It's not just hype. It really is a huge leap forward. Understanding its implications is important for everyone, no matter what you do. Okay, so first things first. What is generative AI? I keep hearing this analogy about like a chef creating a new dish. That's a great way to think about it. Traditional AI is like a chef following a recipe. They're great at what they do, but they're limited by the instructions. Generative AI is like a chef who has learned from so many recipes that they can now create something entirely new, blending flavors and techniques in ways no one has ever seen before. So it's not just following instructions, it's actually creating. That's wild. The podcast we listen to mentions some big names like GPT, DALE, and AlphaFold. Those are the rock stars of the generative AI world. Let's start with GPT. It's actually built on something called a large language model, which allows it to understand and generate human-like text. Think everything from composing poems to writing computer code. It's like it's tapping into some creative force, and it can just generate any kind of text you can imagine. And then there's DALE which honestly sounds like pure magic. You describe an image with words and it just creates it. Exactly. Imagine you type in a cat riding a unicorn through a rainbow galaxy. DAE will actually paint that for you. It captures the whimsy and detail of your words in visual form. Wow. And then there's AlphaFold. The podcast mentioned something about proteins. AlphaFold is making huge waves in the science world. It can predict the incredibly complex three-dimensional structures of proteins which is essential for understanding diseases and developing new medicines. This used to be a process that could take years, but AlphaFold can do it in a fraction of the time with incredible accuracy. So it's like having a scientific crystal ball. You could say that. The potential applications are huge. Faster drug discovery, personalized medicine, even breakthroughs material science. The implications for healthcare alone are mind boggling. It sounds like generative AI is gonna revolutionize so many industries from creative fields to scientific research. But what about the everyday person? How is this technology going to impact our lives? Well, for starters, think about all the content we consume every day. Generative AI is already changing how we create and experience all kinds of things. Everything from marketing materials to entertainment. Okay, I'm following you. So walk me through some specific examples. How is this playing out in the real world? Let's take marketing, for example. Yeah. Let's say you're a small business owner who needs to create engaging content for social media. Generative AI can help you craft those posts, write product descriptions, and even personalize emails to your customers. So it's like having a virtual marketing assistant. Exactly. Working tirelessly behind the scenes to help you connect with your audience. And on the consumer side, Think about how AI can personalize your online experience, curating news feeds, suggesting products you might like, even creating custom music playlists based on your mood. That's a lot to process. It's incredible to think how this technology is already woven into our digital lives. Speaking of creativity, the podcast also touched on how generative AI is impacting art and design. Oh, absolutely. Generative AI tools are becoming increasingly popular with artists and designers. They can be used to generate new ideas, explore different styles, and even create entire artworks. So it's not about replacing human creativity, but rather enhancing it. Exactly. Think of it as a collaborative process. The artist provides the vision and direction, and the AI offers a powerful set of tools to bring that vision to life. It's like having a digital paintbrush that can understand your artistic intentions. This all sounds incredibly promising, but I imagine there are also some potential downsides to this technology. Of course. Any new technology comes with its own set of challenges. One of the big questions around generative AI is the potential for misuse. What do you mean by that? Well, think about the ability to generate realistic images and videos, even audio that sounds like a real person speaking. This could be used to create convincing fake news or propaganda or even to impersonate someone without their consent. That's a sobering thought. It's important to be aware of those risks as this technology continues to evolve. Absolutely. And another challenge is ensuring that generative AI is used responsibly and ethically. We need to think about things like bias and algorithms, the potential impact on jobs, and the need to protect intellectual property rights. So it's not just about the technical capabilities of the technology, it's also about the societal and ethical implications. 
It sounds like there's a lot to consider as we move forward into this new era of generative AI. Definitely a lot to consider. You're absolutely right. It's like we're standing at the edge of uncharted territory. Exactly. We need to move forward with both excitement and caution. Well said. Now, to circle back, let's talk more about those real-world applications we were discussing. Yes. Let's dive deeper into how generative AI is already changing the game across different industries. Okay. We touched on marketing earlier, but it's worth highlighting just how transformative this tech can be for businesses, especially small businesses. Because running a small business means wearing a lot of hats. A lot of hats. So how does generative AI lighten the load? Okay, so imagine this. You need to send out a monthly newsletter to your customers. Right, but you're swamped with other tasks and writing isn't exactly your forte. Exactly. Generative AI can help you craft that newsletter. It can even pull in relevant information about your products or services and adapt to your brand's tone of voice. So it's like having a copywriter on call 247. Precisely. Without the hefty price tag. Exactly. What else can it do? Well, let's say you're launching a new product mm -hmm. and you need to create visual content for social media. Okay. Instead of hiring a graphic designer, you could use a generative AI tool to create eye-catching images even short videos. So even a small business with limited resources can use this technology to level the playing field. That's the beauty of it. It democratizes access to creative tools and expertise that were previously out of reach for many. It's like having a whole marketing team at your fingertips. You got it. And we touched on this before. But on the consumer side, AI is already personalizing your online experience. It curates news feeds, suggests products you might like, it even creates custom music playlists based on your mood. It's already happening, isn't it? I've definitely noticed those personalized recommendations getting more and more sophisticated. Absolutely. It's like having a personal shopper or a DJ who knows your tastes inside and out. Exactly. And it's only going to get more sophisticated as these models continue to learn and adapt to our individual preferences. Makes you wonder what the future holds for online shopping and entertainment. It's an exciting time to be a consumer, that's for sure. Speaking of exciting, let's move on to another industry where generative AI is making waves. The world of art and design. Where creativity and technology collide. Yes. In fascinating ways. Absolutely. We talked about DL before, but it's worth repeating just how groundbreaking this tool is for artists. Because it's not just about generating cool images, right? Right. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, exploring new aesthetics, even challenging our definition of art. I can imagine some artists might be hesitant to embrace this technology. Sure. There's always resistance to change, especially where it comes to something as personal and expressive as art. Right. But I think what's really interesting is that many artists are seeing generative AI as a tool for collaboration, not competition. Exactly. It's like having a creative sparring partner. You can bounce ideas off of it, explore different avenues. So instead of replacing the artist, it's augmenting their creative process. Exactly. Think of it as a way to expand the artist's toolkit, providing new ways to experiment and express their vision. And it's not limited to visual art, is it? No, not at all. Musicians are using generative AI in their creative process as well. I'm curious, how does that work? Imagine a composer using AI to generate melodies or harmonies, exploring different chord progressions, even creating entire orchestral arrangements. So it's like having a virtual orchestra at your command. You could say that. It's like having a songwriting partner who can help you break through creative blocks. I can see how that would be incredibly inspiring for musicians. It's all about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of music and sound. Now, shifting gears a bit, let's talk about an industry where generative AI is quite literally saving lives. Healthcare. Where the stakes are incredibly high, but the potential rewards are even greater. Absolutely. We've already talked about AlphaFold and its ability to predict protein structures. Right, which is a game changer for drug discovery and disease research. Yes, but it goes beyond that. Oh, in what ways? Well, generative AI is being used to personalize healthcare, mm -hmm. tailoring treatments to individual patients based on their unique genetic makeup and medical history. So we're moving away from a one-size-fits-all approach towards a future of precision medicine. Exactly. Imagine doctors using AI to analyze your specific genetic profile and predict your risk of developing certain diseases. And then using that information to tailor treatments or recommend lifestyle changes to help you mitigate those risks. Precisely. It's like having a personalized health advisor guiding you toward optimal well-being. That's incredible. It feels like we're on the cusp of a healthcare revolution. I think so too. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about personalized medicine. 
What else is on the horizon? Generative AI is also being used to develop new diagnostic tools. It can analyze medical images and even assist surgeons during complex procedures. It's mind-boggling to think how much this technology is already transforming the medical field. And the pace of innovation is only accelerating. It makes you wonder what healthcare will look like in 10 or 20 years. The possibilities are truly exciting. But as we've been discussing, it's crucial to approach these advancements with a critical eye. We have to consider the ethical implications. You're absolutely right. And the potential risks, uh, because technology is only as good as the intentions behind it. Very well said. Now, yeah. speaking of intentions, let's move on to an industry where generative AI is blurring the lines between reality and fantasy. The world of gaming and entertainment. Where immersive experiences are taken to a whole new level. It's amazing to think about those vast open world video games where you can explore endless landscapes and interact with countless characters. Exactly. And generative AI is being used to create those worlds. It's generating realistic environments, lifelike characters, even dynamic storylines that adapt to the player's choices. It's like stepping into a virtual world that feels as real as the one outside your window. That's the idea. And the impact on storytelling is huge. AI can help writers generate plot ideas, develop characters, even write dialogue that feels natural and engaging. So again, it's not about replacing human storytellers. It's about empowering them with new tools and possibilities. Precisely. So as you can see, generative AI is making its mark across a wide range of industries. And those are just a few examples. The possibilities really are endless. But as we've explored today, there are also challenges and ethical considerations that we need to address. We can't ignore those. We need to be mindful of bias in AI, ensure responsible use of AI-generated content, and navigate the complex issues of copyright and ownership. All very important points. This is a conversation that we need to have as a society, a conversation that involves experts from different fields, policymakers, and the public at large. I agree. Because the future of generative AI is ultimately in our hands. It is. It's up to us to shape this technology in a way that benefits humanity, to create a world where everyone can thrive. It's really amazing to think about all the ways generative AI is already shaping our world. And we've only just scratched the surface. It's evolving at an incredible pace. It really is. Yeah. So let's step back for a minute. Yeah. And consider what the future might hold. Yeah. What will the world look like when generative AI is fully integrated into our lives? It's an interesting question. Mm. A world where that line between human and machine creativity becomes increasingly blurred. That's both exciting and a little unsettling, to be honest. I agree. But one thing is certain. Generative AI is going to continue to challenge our assumptions. Yeah. It's going to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Right. For example, how might this technology transform creative industries even further? Hmm. Good question. Take architecture. Okay. Right now, AI is being used to help architects design buildings. But in the future, mm -hmm. I can imagine AI becoming a full-fledged design partner. Wow. Collaborating with architects in real time. That would be incredible. To create structures that are not only beautiful, uh -huh. but also incredibly functional and sustainable. I like it. Buildings that blend seamlessly with their surroundings and adapt to the changing needs of the people who use them. So buildings that are more responsive and intelligent. Exactly. What about music? How will generative AI change the music world? Well, imagine a composer working with AI to create a symphony okay. where the AI can analyze the composer's previous work mm. and learn their style and preferences mm. and then use that information to generate new melodies, harmonies, even entire movements. Mm that complement the composer's vision. Wow. So AI becomes like a true creative partner. Exactly. And not just in music, but in all art forms, right? Right. Painting, sculpture, literature, film. It's a future where human and machine creativity work together. To create things beyond anything we can imagine today. It's pretty mind-blowing. But the impact goes way beyond the creative realm, right? Of course. What about scientific discovery? Well, think about it. Scientists are already using AI to analyze huge data sets, mm. to find patterns and make predictions. Right. But what if AI became even more sophisticated? More sophisticated how? Imagine AI that can generate hypotheses, design experiments, even conduct research independently. Whoa, now that's getting really futuristic. It is, but it's a future where AI could accelerate the pace of scientific discovery. Leading to breakthroughs in medicine, energy, space exploration. Exactly. It's incredible. And what about how we learn and educate ourselves? Good question. We touched on personalized learning earlier. We did. Imagine AI tutors 
They could adapt to each student's unique learning style in real time. Wow, that would be amazing. Giving personalized feedback and guidance. Yeah. Creating a truly individualized learning experience. Maximizing every student's potential. That's the idea. This kind of personalized education could totally revolutionize how we learn. I think so. Making knowledge accessible to everyone. Regardless of their background or learning challenges. I love it. But as we embrace all these amazing possibilities, we can't forget about the potential downsides. Right. We need to be really mindful of the ethical implications. We do. And make sure that generative AI is used for good. Not for harm. We have to address concerns about job displacement. Absolutely. And the potential for AI to be used to create and spread misinformation. Very important. We need to have these open and honest conversations as a society mm -hmm. about the role of AI. I agree. To make sure it serves humanity. And not the other way around. That's the key. There's a lot to think about. There is. But these conversations are so important as we enter this new era. They are. The future of generative AI is in our hands. It really is. Let's shape it wisely. And create a world where technology empowers us all. That's the goal. Well, that's it for our deep dive into generative AI. We hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. We did our best. It's important to remember that the future isn't something that just happens to us. That's right. It's something we create together. So let's keep exploring, let's keep questioning, and let's keep imagining the possibilities. I like that. Until next time.